This is AIS, Aeronautical Information Service, a silent force shaping the skies for safe and efficient air travel. Basically what we do here uh, is uh, we provide aeronautical information which is necessary for safety, regularity and efficiency of air navigation. What we do is that when we report in the morning, um, we test the equipment that we use with the other stations. We test with Lusaka, we test with uh, Solwezi, Kasama, all the airports that are around in, in Zambia. Then you, we proceed to find out the status of the, the facilities, the communication systems, whether they are serviceable, and uh, when, when there are any problems, uh, whether there are some no terms that uh, expired, or no terms that need to be replaced. And of course, any challenges that my operational officers have in the office. Every day, we have to talk to each and every section whether they have got a fault or not. I'll, I'll give an example of fire section. If they are at category seven, for example, as we are interacting with them, you find that maybe they will tell you, no, that uh, category has to be raised to maybe nine, category nine, okay? So that already, it will mean that they have to come to my office, do what we call a notam request to raise the category from category seven to category nine, meaning bigger aircrafts now will start landing other than smaller ones. They vary from one category to another, depending on the fire engines, the number of fire engines that they have at a, that, at, at a particular moment. So when they have a smaller fire engine, a minor fire engine. Bigger aircrafts cannot land. So, and this information should be um, given to us through a NOTAM. NOTAM, Notice to Airmen, is a critical piece of information that pilots and aviation professionals rely on. It is issued by aviation authorities to alert pilots and other personnel about potential hazards or changes along their planned route. The culture here is very friendly because we handle information. When we do that, we handle it with love because any error in that information is crucial to us. It can either have the, air, the, the aircraft get lost or indeed have a crash. When you, you, when, when you release the information, it has to be very correct. The aeronautical information publication is a basic aviation document intended primarily to uh, satisfy international requirements for exchange of permanent information and uh, temporary changes for air navigation. It is a basic document because it contains information of a lasting character. It contains all the airports in Zambia, the international airport, the national airports, and other aerodromes, and also associated aeronautical facilities that are used at an airport. So of course, this document, since it contains permanent information, at one time this information may temporarily change, perhaps information of long duration, so when that information changes, it is transmitted to the users as AIP supplement. Information of short duration is transmitted to the users as no terms, notice to airmen. That is how the users of this information access this critical aeronautical information. And the users of this information are the pilots, air traffic controllers, aircraft operating agencies, aerodrome operators, 
the civil aviation of, of operators, the airline, and all those that are engaged in flight operations. The most challenging experience in AIS is uh, the correctness of the information. That is very, very crucial. Especially that whatever we do, we are timed. For example, if I receive a, met a meteorological report, it has to be done in two minutes, but correctly without you know, mixing figures. The main equipment that is used for exchange of this aeronautical information in the Aeronautical Information Services Office is the Air Traffic Services Message Handling System and the, the Aeronautical Information Management System. These are made for exchange of data and aeronautical information. Besides that, we have also backup equipment that can be used to exchange information, such as voice over internet protocol phone, which runs on the aeronautical telecommunication network. We can also exchange through emails and also, of course, through voice on phones and radio telephone. The AIS is the central nervous system of aviation information. It's a comprehensive service that collects, organizes, and disseminates critical data to all stakeholders in the aviation community. We get uh, the updates for all airstrips and uh, airports through what we call aeronautical information circulars. These circulars are produced by our regulator who is Zambia Civil Aviation Authority. When they produce these circulars, then uh, they, they send them to us. There are some technical units such as maintenance, uh, electrical, those that oversee the operations of these units. Whenever there is change, it is given to us as AIS so that we process that information to International Notam Office who are going to process it in appropriate publication, whether it will be an EIP supplement or whether it will be a Notam. That is how we get the updates concerning the status of the operation. So we interact with the, the following departments. We interact with the tower. We interact with the meteorological department. We also interact with rescue fire services. We are interdependent. So we have made that kind of friendship to many, the pilots, the air traffic controllers, because we provide them with the necessary information that supports their operations. I've been serving in AIS for the last 23 years. Um, what has kept me uh, going is the nature of the job, I like the job. What I like most, my job is that because I'm the center for provision of the necessary critical information. You can imagine if today we are told that there's no oxygen, that will be the end. And if you are told that there's no information, that is a disruption of operations. So this is why I like it so much. And I always want to provide the users of this information quality information. At one time, I really admired to work at the airport. And the, the, I was inspired when I looked at uh, the, the, the fire engine that the firemen use. And also when I used to look at the small house up there, the control tower, I really admire that one day, may I be one of those that can operate perhaps from up that, that small building or operate this machine. And my dreams eventually came true. I had a friend, a friend at school uh, that was a friend in need and a friend indeed. When I discovered that uh, my friend liked my work, I, f I, f I felt very good and was encouraged to continue with this work.
what I would like the people to know about AIS. I would, I would compare it to oxygen, okay? When oxygen is available, it is in abundance, people uh, do not recognize it. But when it is scarce, they will start gasping for air. That's when they will know how important oxygen is. So even AIS, when you come to the airport here, when it comes to looking for information, that's when they know how important AIS is. And that information is critical. What motivates me to provide the service that I do is of course embedded in the sense that the service that I, I provide enhances safety of the people that are on board an aircraft and also the aircraft itself. So I get motivated in that way. My word of uh, encouragement my, to our clients is that they should do, continue following the rules of the air. We need them before they go into the aircraft to ring this office or fax their flight plans through this office because the safety of the aircraft and its occupants starts from this office. So it's better for them to continue engaging us as they take up different routes in different uh, destinations. I would encourage the young people to join the aviation industry. And I'm sure with this technology, because the time when we were joining us, the technology was not all that. Now there's a lot of technology, and if the young men and women uh, could join this industry, I'm sure it will grow from strength to strength. Welcome to your gateway to possibilities. We're here to serve you. We're proud to keep you safe. We're happy to be part of your journey, providing a seamless process from start to end. We care about your experience as you travel through the gateway to possibilities. Keep flying.